Hi students, today we are going to discuss about module 3 in Elements of Mechanical Engineering course. In this module 3, we have two chapters. First chapter is Internal Combustion Engine, second chapter is Refrigeration and Air Conditioning. In this lecture class, we are going to discuss about the introduction, next types of heat engines, how the IC engines are classified, what are the various terms used in IC engine, and what are the various parts in IC engine. What do you mean by an engine? Engine means it is a prime mover. It converts heat energy into mechanical force or a motion or action. Prime mover means it converts one form of energy into another form of energy. So engine is a prime mover. So basically we want heat energy to be converted into mechanical force. So that is why we are using an engine. A heat engine which converts a thermal energy into mechanical work is called a heat engine. How you get thermal energy? We use petrol diesel. So in petrol diesel we have a chemical energy. That chemical energy is converted into thermal energy upon combustion process. Then this thermal energy or heat energy is converted into mechanical work. So that is what heat engines are doing. Now types of heat engines, there are two types of heat engines are there, one is internal combustion engine, they are called IC engines, external combustion engines, external combustion EC engines. Now what is internal combustion engine? Internal combustion engines means the combustion of air and fuel, that is air fuel mixture takes place inside the cylinder. So the combustion of air and fuel mixture takes place inside the cylinder means internal combustion engine examples all our automobiles two wheelers four wheelers the automobiles comes under this category of ic engines it is internal combustion engine in this air and fuel mixture fuel means it may be petrol or diesel or it may be a gas air so a small quantity of air and fuel they have to mix in proper proportions and combustion takes place inside the cylinder that is called as internal combustion engine. Second one is external combustion engines that is combustion of air and fuel mixture takes place outside the cylinder that is called as external combustion engine. Example is steam engines. Next how IC engines are classified? IC engines are classified based upon them, some uh, parameters. First one is number of strokes. So number of strokes, there are four strokes, first is, second is two stroke. First four stroke means that is it requires, IC engine requires a four stroke in order to produce energy. That is it has to complete a four strokes. Suction, compression, expansion, exhaust, that is a four stroke. So it has to complete a four stroke in order to get energy to transmit from, to move vehicle from one point to another point that is a four stroke two stroke means it requires only two stroke to produce the energy mechanical energy that is a two stroke engine the first category second category what type of fuel we are using so based on that we classify as petrol engine or a gasoline engine second is diesel engine third is a gas engine fourth one is a dual fuel engine dual fuel means we use combination of two fuels that is petrol and diesel. Third classification is based upon the working cycle is called as our first one is auto cycle is a petrol engine is a diesel cycle second one third one is a dual combustion cycle. Auto cycle means a petrol engine. So this petrol engine is invented by Nicolas Otto. So uh, the name petrol what we think is a uh, the petrol means the name of a person who has invented that engine is Nicolas Otto. So Otto has given his name as Otto cycle. Second is the diesel cycle. Again diesel is also the name of a person. A Rudolf Diesel. He has invented that engine. So it is a diesel cycle. Third one is a dual combustion cycle. Uh, dual combustion means the, the cycle works on two uh, cycles. Two uh, combination of two cycles is auto cycle and diesel cycle. It is a dual combustion cycle. Next, fourth classification is based upon the type of fuel what we are using inside the engine. 
so fuel is first one is carburet type carbureted that is in that we use carburetor that is carburetor type second one is injection type so there uh, basically it is a, a diesel engine so where we are injecting the fuel inside the engine there is injection type next classification is based upon the ignition what type of ignition method you are using the method of ignition first one is a spark ignition engine si engine second one is a compression ignition engine ci engine spark ignition engine uh, are basically petrol engine uh, so we require a spark plug to produce a spark to have a combustion process for air and fuel mixture Co compression ignition engine means there in this we are not using any spark plug to produce a spark to have a combustion process so compressed air using the compressed air uh, we are using we are making the combustion process a compressed ignition engine next is the method of cooling so how we are cooling this uh, one is air cooling second is the water cooling next classification is based upon number of cylinders a single cylinder a multi cylinder the next is based upon speed a low speed engine second medium speed engine high speed engine third one is high speed engine next classification is based upon the valve arrangement so valve if it is arranged in the overhead is called overhead valve arrangement the valve is arranged sideways is called side valve arrangement next classification is based upon the arrangement of cylinder the vertical engine horizontal engine radial engine vertical engine means vertical cylinder will be vertical direction horizontal engines is called horizontal uh, cylinder horizontal engines third one is radial engine is a engine cylinders are arranged in radial direction is a radial engines next is based upon the application we have stationary engines that is stationary engines means the engines will be standing at one particular place it will not move here and there it is called stationary engine b second one is marine engine the where used for the marine applications third one is locomotive engines where we use for the engine moves from one point to another point the locomotives automobiles third one is automotive engines fifth one is aircraft engines engines used in aircraft is called uh, aircraft engines last is method of lubrication how we are lubricating that is uh, first one is wet sump lubrication second one is dry sump lubrication next coming into the uh, ic engine terminology what are the various terms we use in the case of ic engines so there are eight terms to remember the first one is called as a bore second is stroke third one is tdc top dead center fourth one is bottom dead center fifth is compression ratio sixth is cylinder volume seventh is swept volume eighth is clearance volume so just look into this figure so first what we say is a bore bore means inside diameter of the cylinder is called as a bore whatever the diameter is there inside the cylinder that is called as a bore uh, so bore is inside diameter of the cylinder next uh, we have next we have stroke so stroke means the linear distance traveled by the piston from bottom dead center to the top dead center it is called a stroke length or a stroke how much distance it is going to travel this piston is going to travel from bottom dead center to top dead center in the case of uh, vertical engines so if it is in the case of horizontal cylinder horizontal axis cylinder uh, inner dead center to outer dead center as we say we use words idc is so inner dead center and uh, outer dead center odc in the case of horizontal cylinder so now we are seeing the figure the vertical uh, cylinder so we you have to use the bottom dead center top dead center you can you see bdc and tdc so this is how the pistons traveled by the, uh, the uh, from bottom dead center to the top dead center that is called a stroke or a stroke length so next we have tdc top dead center what do you mean by tdc top dead that is extreme portion at the top of a cylinder is called as a top dead center next we have bottom dead center uh, so bdc uh, is a extreme portion at the bottom of the cylinder is called as a bdc bottom dead center next we have uh, the compression ratio so what is compression ratio compression ratio means maximum is the ratio of maximum volume of the cylinder to the minimum volume of the cylinder that is called as compression ratio maximum cylinder volume divided by minimum cylinder volume is compression ratio then maximum cylinder when it will be a maximum cylinder volume 
when the piston is at the bottom dead center so it will be a maximum cylinder volume when the piston is at the top dead center it will be a minimum cylinder volume so maximum cylinder volume divided by the minimum cylinder volume will give the compression ratio okay next is cylinder volume what is the cylinder volume cylinder volume means it is sum of swept volume and the clearance volume what do you mean by swept volume swept volume means it is the volume of space generated by the movement of piston movement of that is when the piston moves or when the piston sweeps sweeps or moves both are same the piston moves from one dead center to another dead center that's called swept it sweeps so the piston is sweeping inside the cylinder so the volume of the space generated by the movement of the piston from one dead center to the another dead center is called as swept volume now what is clearance volume it is the space in the cylinder when the piston is at the top dead center it is called as a clearance volume okay i'll repeat it is the space in the cylinder when the piston is at the top dead center okay so this is the uh, these are the various uh, terms we use in the ic engine so first one is the bore bore is the inside diameter of the cylinder it is called a bore stroke means is a linear distance traveled by the piston in the cylinder between the extreme uh, portions that is top dead center and the bottom dead center uh, top dead center means is extreme portion of the cylinder on the top bottom dead center is the extreme portion of the cylinder on the bottom uh, so again i told you that uh, the, in the case of horizontal cylinder uh, the uh, horizontal cylinder we have inner dead center and outer dead center next uh, <coughs> compression ratio is the ratio of maximum cylinder volume to the minimum cylinder volume next cylinder volume uh, it is the sum of swept volume and the clearance volume next is swept volume what is swept volume it is volume of space generated by the movement of piston from one dead center to another dead center next clearance volume it is the space in the cylinder when the piston is at the top dead center so these are the various terms we use in the ic engine next is ic engine parts so we 